Welcome to the channel guys, going out for a ride. It's a Sunday, uh, I think we've got about hit about 25 degrees Celsius thereabouts. Absolutely beautiful, darling, a few clouds in the sky. Heading over to Harndorf, where I'm gonna meet my mate John, and we're gonna go to Beerenberg. Famous for um, their strawberry products and conserves and all that sort of stuff. Got to get a coffee. Then from that point there, I believe we're heading up all the way up to the Barossa Valley. So I'm on the Trans Alp. Absolutely loving this bike. It's I think I made the right. Oh, I know I've made the right choice now. It's a great bike. It's easy to throw around on the roads. It's powerful. Uh, yeah, I, I could go on. I, I will be doing a review on it. I want to get a couple more thousand k's up on it before I do the full review. It's going in for its first service next week, for its thousand kilometer service. Oh, traction troll, troll just come on then, it's hit a big bump. Um, yeah, so it's coming up for its thousand kilometer service. I've just done, I think, about 1600 k's, so a little bit over, but she'll be right. And we'll see how that goes. And yeah, just waiting for the um, crash bars to come in and the seat cover install some fog lights and then I think I'm pretty well set I'm pretty well happy and yeah next big trip coming up is Tasmania with three mates so that's got to be pretty exciting so I've got this new chin mount on on a new helmet and so a lot of trial and error today just going to be messing around with a few things to see how it goes so far I believe it's not high enough you know, it's not getting over the shield not ca capturing that sort of view out in that way so I'll have to get a mount and bring it up a little bit I've got an option stretch my neck out stand up look to the left look to the right I don't know guys what do you reckon um, all right why you down there and you're um, <laughs> why you down there shouldn't say that should I uh, why you down there no I will say that why you down there don't forget to subscribe like and share the channel with other people let's get those numbers up for me i'd really appreciate that um clocking towards a thousand subscribers now and a thousand subscribers for a youtuber is like a pinnacle point for us it says here yeah, we've achieved something let's all go from there it's all right let's get out there let's do this and let it warm up a little bit but it, saying that it's probably about 15 16 degrees celsius at the moment so i can't complain hey this bike just bloody well falls into the corners Ah, oh, what have they done? They dropped the speed limit down. I was just about to flick it over to sports mode. Bugger. Anyway, I'll hold off on that one. Now, I'm doing a bit of roadworks up here, so I better drop back a little bit and just be careful because I think it'll be a magnet for police. I always ride responsibly. So here we are, coming into Harndorf. Now, Harndorf's a quaint little tourist town settled in the um, Adelaide Hills. It was actually settled by, or the area was settled by um, German immigrants 150, 160 years ago, or something, something like that, a long time ago anyway. And they established this town here and there's a lot of quaint, um, I suppose, German style buildings and businesses and stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, over the probably the last 20 years, a lot of the franchise sort of business started moving into here, like Subway and the like. But it's a great little town. You've got a lot of um, the German heritage here and pubs, excellent bloody pubs. Um, yeah, the Germans, when they come to South Australia, they obviously settled here, went right up through to the Barossa Valley and beyond, and, you know, brought their Lutheran religion with them and, and their flavour, I suppose. So you can see a lot of these old buildings along here, so getting away back there, I don't know who that is. Um, no wave. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, so, um, oh, I think this is John Street. Yep, this is the one. It's funny. His name is John and lives on John Lane. How good's that? So yeah. So the Lutheran churches and all that sort of stuff, the influence of religion and that. Uh, it's right through to Adelaide Hill. So we'll be going up to um, the Brossa Valley, which once again is an area that was established by the um, Germans, immigrants. But in all respect to the indigenous folks as well, because they were here first. Here's John waiting for me he's pretty eager he's got his tiger xcx 800 that's an 800 isn't it 800, 800 how good is that and you've decided not to bring the crf out oh no right like today ah oh. a gentleman's ride a gentleman's ride yes yeah, so, perfect um, yeah we're just cruise all right john's the um ride leader today uh it's just two of us yeah. so your lead yeah it's not a uh, Formal or anything, it's beautiful. Uh, 
That's the way I like it, no formalities. So if you take lead, is it okay if I take tail end, Charlie? I, okay, I'll just we toss for it. Oh no, just, just do it. Right. Just do it. And Can, do you want, want to do the corner man system? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, okay. So uh, you'll be the sweep rider? I'll be yeah. sweep, but I'll pick you up. So you want to go for a coffee? Yeah, we'll go to Berenberg. Berenberg, here we come. All right, let's do this. So just trying to catch up to John, he got in front of me because the traffic's pretty heavy here. Um, this, this time of the morning, it's um, absolutely crazy. You go, got all the tourists coming in, people are coming in for their coffees, their breakfasts. Yeah, the buses are starting to come through. Um, I'd say with it about an hour, it's what, 9.21 at the moment, by 10 o'clock, you will not be able to get a parking spot here. The um, pubs will all be full. Yeah, cafe's full, all that sort of stuff. Nice bikes out already. Check out the bikes, guys. Look at them. What are they? Beamers, are they? No, yeah, they're all some Beamers. Bit of a mix, Harleys and a few other things. So, a beautiful day like this, you're going to get shitloads of lady motorbike riders out. And they'll come up through Hundorf. It's a place to be seen. Otto's Bakery on the right. Another classic bike rider stop. All right, let's go to Beerenberg. Alrighty, here we are at Berenberg. First time for John and the first time for me. We're gonna pop our cherry here. Or do we say pop our strawberry? Because it's a strawberry farm. Oh, get a photo. I'm going the strawberry sign. How cool will that be? Where does one park a bike here? So this little section here is called Grant's Kitchen. So apparently they run uh, gourmet cooking classes here. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love that kitchen in my house. Ice cream. The outhouse. No explanation required there, so let's have a look at all these condiments they've got down here. We've got heaps of them. I'm told there's about 90 in their range. So I've certainly got a few of these in the fridge at home. Um, the one I like the most, where is it? We got the other end here somewhere, let's have a look. Oh, where is it? Anyway, it's named Scotty's. Scotty's Burger Relish. You not find it. Here we somewhere, there's just too many to choose from. Wow. And it goes on. So our coffees have arrived. Now dip your finger in there, John. You good, mate? I should have ordered the sugar. You should have ordered the sugar. Okay, so that's coffee done at the Beerberg Cafe. So as I was saying, guys, pop in there, have a look at it, check it out. You know, if you're coming through South Australia on a bit of a tour on the bikes, go in there. You're going to get everything you need. Oh, more bikes. Look at them. Harley's, Harley, Harley. Oh, nice. Nice. Anyway, so I'm following John. Um, he's got a bit of a track made up in his mind as to where he's going. Uh, a few dirt roads, sealed roads and stuff like that. And we'll head up towards the Brossa. So we've just opened all the vents on our jackets because it's getting bloody warm already. So 
we're just having a conversation on um, on our headsets, on our cardos. Unfortunately, the cardo uh, keeps cutting in and out. I can tell why they call it pack talk, because they tend to pack it in when you talk. Um, hasn't been performing well today at all. So, yeah, a conversation before I packed it in was about where we're going. So we're just sort of, I suppose, just meandering through the hills here, through the vineyards, and just having a bit of a look around. Um, he asked me if I wanted to do some dirt tracks and all that, which I really don't mind, just as long as we take it easy, obviously, with these roadie tyres on. But, yeah, so far it's pretty good. It's really dry here. I was just thinking how amazing it is, is that, you know, it's dry, and yet the vineyards are so, so green. And I look at the... Um, the vineyards itself there's so much irrigation here and i think to myself where did i get all this water from is it pumped from the murray river which is probably you know i don't know 100 120 k's from here or do they have bores don't know what the go is but yeah it's looking pretty impressive all these um palm trees here yeah you know, a lot of them lead into the wineries now we could be heading towards sepplesville winery glorious day it's looking bloody awesome out here it's just great just meandering around, just cruising around, there's no stress. It's the way I like the ride. So I don't know if you can see it, just up there there's um, a mausoleum, I think they call them. Yeah, so I believe it's the Sepplesfield family, or the Sepples family, I should say. They own all the wineries in this area. Obviously they have their um, family locked away in there, they passed away. If I was feeling fit, I'd climb that hill and have a bit of a look. I might see if Johnny wants to do that on the way out, because we're going into the winery. Quick conversation with John there. He's convinced me to go into the winery to get a beer. So we're going into a winery to get a beer. Yeah, okay. Um, I hope they got beer here. This is Sepplesfield Winery. So let's see what John takes me to. He shouldn't twist my arm to do things like this. It's dangerous. I ride responsibly, drink responsibly, all that sort of stuff. Where's he going? I think he's going to turn around up here somewhere. Bloody all these awesome old buildings along here. They would have been, I suppose, storage areas for the wines. Funny little castle looking thing, they'd be water tanks. Where are we going, Johnny? Johnny, be good. Beers, left, turn left. That's it. You got it. We're, we're getting there. I'm dry. Dry as a dead snake's donger. Where are we here? Oh, okay, a bit of parking here and drinks that way. John, this could be dangerous, mate. Bring me in be. here. Yeah. Wet yeah. your appetite. Wet my appetite, yeah. Well, I've got a hell oh, of an appetite. So, um, yeah. Sounds like a bit of music down there as well. Party. So here we are at Sepplesfield Winery. Uh, just got to be careful because going past the main entrance back there, they're playing a lot of music and I don't want to, um, YouTube to catch me on copyright, but have a look at these gardens, these um, grounds here, well maintained. Yeah, you, get, you know, meals here, wine, coffee, beer, you name it. Oh, what's this? That's big. A lot of old heritage buildings. Yeah, good spot to be on a sunny day. So John, it was we, we went to a winery to get a beer and they said no, and they said go over to the coffee shop to get a beer. Uh, go figure. So what have we got here? We got a Greenock Brewers Victorville Palau. How good is that? Cheers, mate. Yeah. It's the enjoyable ride. No worries. So far. So that was an awesome beer back at Sepplesfield. Now we're going to go up there and check out this mausoleum thing. I think that's how you say it. Mausoleum or is it mausoleum? I don't know. We'll go and have a look at that. I think I went up there when I was a kid. So I was probably about 10 years old back then. So what's that? Oh, 40, 40 odd years ago bit of a walk, bloody exercise, I don't like that.
Okay, so we're going to go all the way up there and check it out. Let's do it. Sepult family mausoleum. Alright, I can do this. John! Is there like one of those chairlift things or something like that to get me up there? I'm a fat old bastard. Can you carry me? No, see. Oh, he said he can push me down. Very little support from this guy, I tell you. Lead rider has let me down. How far up are we? Five meters. Really? Oh. Okay. Twelve steps. Be bloody dead by the time I get to the top of this. Oh, guys, check that out there. Isn't that amazing. Wow. Come on, heart rate, come down. I'm so unfit. What are you doing, John? Oh. <laughs> Mate, the AED was down at the um, restaurant down there. I'm not running all the way back there to get it. All right, let's go and have a look. Johnny's doing his own little podcast thing down there. He doesn't like me getting too close because he doesn't want me in the footage or saying anything. So he'll sneak off to the side and do that. Let him go. Yep, sure did. Okay, I'm gonna go up there. Do I need standard, off-road, gravel? Not sure. Johnny just went up there and he bottomed out. Am I gonna bottom out? No. Nah. Bloody Tiger's got no clearance. Transalp has. So look who I've called up with here, the famous David of Adelaide. He was just recently on Bike A Bit talking about, what are you talking about? You're talking about the Scrambler? Yeah, the Scrambler. Well, we're talking about uh, with uh, Mark and yep. Angus on the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The YouTube. YouTube channel. Yeah, bike a bit. Having, having a bit of, bit of fun, bit of a catch up. Yeah. But yeah. That was in Bendigo, wasn't it? That was in Bendigo. And you, Mark. I also oh. took this bike over to Bendigo last year, back 2022. Yeah, right. For a, a, a bike review. Shit. Check out Mark's review on the bike. I'll put I'll put a link down the bottom um, to bike a bits for those who don't know um, bike a bits. <laughs> I just get closer to the mic who don't know bike a bits. It's an awesome channel. Yeah. I think uh, Mark's got about. 50, 60,000 subscribers yeah, now. Yeah, He's yeah. almost full time doing it, Top I reckon. Bloke, mate. I love his backyard. Bloke. Yeah. I yeah. love his backyard. I like all the stuff, the fuel yeah. pump and yeah. different bikes, and his whole style is bloody awesome. Yeah, upright so, guy. Yeah. Right. See, so, what's so unique about this bike? Well, uh, so it's, it's a, bloody awesome looking. It's a, it's a 900cc twin, yep. five speed. Uh, it's got a limited edition paintwork. Um, what else? I've, I've actually knocked up a special screen for it. Yeah, because that's not a Triumph screen. So what is that screen? That's something I knocked up myself. So I got a plastics place to do it. So I sort of fabricated a a cardboard cutout sort of thing. Yep. And then they took it in and it had to meet these specs to meet the mounting brackets here. Wow. But you know, but this bike came with the crash bars, as you can see, um, limited edition paintwork. It's 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 a great it's a great bike, you know, and and I've. Well, tend to take it on dirt roads. I'm not yeah. single tracking on it. I just dirt yeah. roads, fire trails, no no drama. It's great. Hey, um, just notice 
Your deputy marshal? Yeah. Where's the marshal? <laughs> Where's the actual marshal? We're still trying to find him. <laughs> and you've got one that of these was... Nanu Nanu badges? Is yeah. That, that's Star Trek, is it? Yeah, yeah. Give us a try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, cool. <laughs> Love it, mate. <laughs> Uh, you yeah, got to have fun. Live long and prosper, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, tricky fan. I love That's it. That's it. Sweet. Good on you. So this is the first bit of gravel road I've seen all day. So pretty good. Um, Johnny was just saying to me then, you know, we're getting towards the end of the day. I don't want to twist your arm, but if I have to, I will. Would you like to come to the Stanley Bridge Hotel for one last beer for the day? I went, mate, come on. Really? really want to go for a beer all right let's do that so guys you know reluctantly i've got to take one for the team and i'll i'll go and do that so off to the stanley bridge hotel uh for one last beer for the day then it's home yeah but it's been an awesome day a lot of gravel sorry gravel i should say a lot of um tarmac road but it's been nice just cruising around on the transalp just nice relaxing day for all the vineyards in the Barossa Valley. You know, the um, strawberry farm in the morning, just going there for a coffee. Vineyard for the wine. Wine, we didn't have wine, we had a beer. My God, what am I saying? Anyway, off to the pub we go. Maybe I shouldn't have that beer. Hmm, okay, I'm a bit confused. Oh, right, let's go test it out. Stanley Bridge Hotel, in for a beer. Oh, it's going on gravel. So change the mode to gravel mode. That'll do you, Johnny. Well guys, this brings us to the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been an absolute cracker of a day and I've got to give a big thanks to John. Um, for hosting this ride. There was only two of us on it and that was what we expected anyway. And a lot of motorbikes out in the Adelaide Hills today riding around. It's great to see. The weather was perfect. I think we got up to about 27 degrees. Sunny, you can't complain. I'm on my way home and I've got this bloody awesome twisty road here to contend with. And yeah, in up 10 minutes I'll be home and both my feet will be up and I'll have a coffee in my hand. So anyway, Please, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, share, comment. I'd really appreciate that. And thanks for watching and thanks for your support. And thanks to those close to 800 people who have already subscribed to the channel. That's absolutely awesome for me. Um, hoping to hit that 1,000 soon. That's the, uh, as I was saying earlier on, I think I might have said it, that's what um, content creators aim for, that 1,000. I don't know what the big deal about it is really. I think I start to get paid at that point there if I got the right amount of hours. I make about 10 cents a month or something like that, something crazy. But anyway, we're not, not here for the money, we're here for the fun. We're here for the experience, all that sort of stuff. See you guys, thanks.